who's ready for Spider-Man No Way Home. Oh, I am. And me too. Live. <laughs> up, up, and away. <laughs> so welcome oh back, everyone. Gosh, we have been so excited <laughs> to watch this movie. All three of us are completely blind to this. Yes, we are, and we have not been spoiled. No, we did watch the official trailer, what was it, back in November? Mm -hmm. And it looked really, really good. So yeah, exciting. Yeah. Yep. Very adventurous. Looks like um, Peter's going to be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Poor guy, he can never catch a break ever. Peter Parker always has a lot of, you know, challenges um, that he has to face. In the trailer, we did see Doctor Strange. That's what we Yes, did. he was helping him out. We heard Green Goblin's laugh, and we saw one of his bombs, right, roll onto the bridge. Right. Yes, we did, yeah. Doctor Doc. Octopus, or really Doc Octavius. Doc. 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 Yes. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so we did see him, and that was very exciting. It was very quick. Was, That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. There you go. And MJ's there. Yes. Yep. Definitely. We have um, the MJ from Tom Holland's universe, yeah, right. of course. We yes. know that the multiverse is all open up and crazy because Doctor Strange was doing a spell. A spell. Oh, so Peter Parker's Never. identity or Spider Man's identity could be erased, so yes, no one yeah. knows who his identity is anymore. Except um, for him. Except for yeah, him. so yeah. we're assuming yeah. that it wasn't good. I mean, some superheroes okay. are, you know, fully known. Um, some hide their identity for obvious reasons to keep their loved ones safe, for them to be safe, right, so they yeah. don't get harassed in their personal life. But still, like, look how well that works out for Spider-Man, especially, you know, like with the Tobey right. Maguire, right. the Andrew Garfield one. So even though we are assuming that they might make an appearance in this movie, we don't know for sure. And I'm That's so true. happy because I already talked to them about it, too. We haven't seen any commercials. Um, I haven't seen any pictures online. Mm -hmm. We have not looked up anything. And we did that. You know, to really make sure that we're very pure going into this okay. because that's always fun. We want to support the theaters and just because of the pandemic and even though, fingers crossed, things are getting better, just because how dad is and we, we react. We have a studio at mom's house. We react at your house yeah. that dad, um, you know, he's out and about here. So we just have to be very careful for him because he does have a lot of um, health issues. So we just, you know, try to stay away from crowds and everything where we can for now. Yeah, so yeah. Um, we're supporting this way. So we bought the movie. And this came out in December of 2021. Wow, so it's already three months old. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness. That's Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I know. Is, We've been yeah. like, I'm just so happy we haven't like seen any or heard any spoilers, you know. But mm -hmm. it's here now. And I do want to say, if you guys are watching on YouTube, please give the video a thumbs up so more people can yes, see our videos. Indeed. That really helps us grow. Um, if you can subscribe, that would be absolutely amazing. We're trying to reach 200,000 subscribers. We have a wonderful okay. fan base, and we do get millions of views every month. But we only, I mean, we love our subscribers, but we know we can grow a lot more. So if you guys can help us out that would be terrific if you want to check out our entire reaction our full reaction to this movie um, you can check out the links below and you can watch it on our patreon we do our best to edit our fair use versions that are on YouTube. Legally, we can only show 10 minutes, which is not a lot of time, especially for a movie for sure. that's over yeah. two hours long. Mm. When I did Endgame, that was a really hard edit. Oh, that must have been really hard. Even chopping yeah. it up and compressing it and leaving in all the really good reactions and best scenes, it came to, I think it was 25 to 30 minutes long. So I still had to yes. sacrifice big scenes mm. in that one, and that was hard, and I'm sure a lot of you guys do edit too, and you know how that goes, but you know, a lot of people are like, why didn't you leave this in? Why didn't you leave this in? And if I took, left too that and took something else out, something else so major much. would be left out. And it's yeah. tough, but it was a fun edit. And you can check out our entire reaction by the links below, and that also helps us grow as well. It helps support us. But yeah, yeah. so um, we're excited. The director for this was John Watts. We know Tom Holland, of course, is gonna be mm -hmm. our Peter Parker. Okay. We're hoping to see the other ones. <gasps> 
Andrew Maybe Garfield. Maybe Toby McGuire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, we all have our favorites here. <laughs> Although, last like time we all. talked about yes. it. No, Toby McGuire, I like the best. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were talking about it last movie <laughs> that um, we really enjoy all three Spider-Man, but we all have a favorite. And um, I do love Andrew Garfield, don't get me wrong, but I started with Tobey Maguire and I just loved those movies so much. So he's my favorite. And Tom Holland is right there too. I think he's a great Spider-Man, but so is Andrew Garfield. Yeah, they're all good. They're really close. I love them all, but Andrew, I just... He's got a special place in my heart. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. Yeah, and they're all great as Peter <laughs> Parker. They all have yeah, like a right. very strong attribute to that character, you know. Right. And, and oh, yeah, hands yes. down. Yeah, yeah, so, I mean, I have a lot of hopes for this movie. I know I shouldn't really get my hopes up, but I know this was good. I'm sure a lot of people have really enjoyed it. So um, I want to see, besides uh, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, that would be so cool. I'm assuming because of the bad guys that are going to show up that we might see them. That um, maybe we will see from the series, maybe Loki, maybe Sylvie. She opened up the multiverse. Maybe yeah. she'll be there. Maybe Wanda. Maybe Venom. Maybe Venom. Venom. How about Coulson? <laughs> oh, that would be cool, too. I mean, like, we love, yeah. we love Agents we love of S.H.I.E.L.D., yeah. and I know that kind of branched off yeah, from the MCU, right, yeah. but, you know, you never know. You never That's know what right. you're going to see. Know. You know, A lot of possibilities. Like yeah. Right. Even what? Shang-Chi? Shang-Chi? Mm-hmm. Shang-Chi? Yeah. yeah, because Wong, you know. Recruited him, right? Yeah. Uh, at the end. So um, there's a lot of possibilities, a lot of new characters, and maybe even Eternals. Movie. Who knows? Let's throw them all out there. <laughs> <Yeah>. Everyone come <laughs> help. Yeah. <laughs> That's Multiverse right. is open, right. but then we might just have multiple. I mean, just having multiple Spider Mans is going to be huge. Yeah, that's for sure. My God. <laughs> you know? Oh, so wow. we'll see what happens. They're going to need it if all these villains are going to come out from everywhere. Oh my God, yeah. All these mm-hmm. different multiverses. I'm so excited. Oh <laughs> so we're watching on Amazon Spider Man No Way Home. <clears throat> that's great. <gasps> Matt! Yes! Matt! Yes! Don't believe any of the charges against you. If I was about so to cool. bring a lawyer, oh there is still a court of public opinion. That's true. People oh are going to think, whoa, 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 look at that, even showed us how to do that. that. I'm a really good lawyer. <laughs> I'm a really good lawyer. <laughs> That's so weird, <laughs> just doing that. Some of the sneakers. The wrinkle this jacket is. <laughs> Basically, what I'm trying to. S- Ooh, Spider Sense. Oh, oh no, God! No, no. Whoa. It's a bad car. Oh. Yep, yeah, stack oh. up! <laughs> you don't listen to him. You listen to Oh, that's to so weird. Oh. Bluetooth is actually. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know Bluetooth. Oh, that's perfect. Hey, you. When I see you. Oh, you're oh. oh. <laughs> in <laughs> trouble. <laughs> now she's got. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> This is the Green Goblin. Oh no. Oh. One down, a million to go. Oh jeez. Oh, Yay, no. it is so good. <laughs> is he naked? Y'all just gonna stand here and act like I ain't butt ass naked? <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. He's gonna stop it. He's gonna take it from him? Mm-hmm. Don't. Ah. Whoa. Oh. What are you doing? Oh. Say. <laughs> Whoa. Huh? I have no idea. Ah! Not yeah. be able to do that. It sinks. <laughs> Feels amazing. Oh, it's still hard to get him. <laughs> oh my god. Push me up. Wow. <laughs> oh man. Wow. <laughs> oh. Ow. 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 Oh. Sorry. This is your plan, Peter. I fell into a super collider. Damn. Gotta be careful where you fall. <laughs> Peter. Peter? <laughs> That's like everyone. <laughs> oh, he's trying to see who was deceiving him. That's a matrix. <laughs> Run. Go, go, go. He's gonna take oh, it off. Damn. Uh-oh. Oh, Ooh, who's no. gonna kill him? Yeah, 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 yeah. So no matter what, they're gonna freaking die. Oh, God. He's loving it. It's crazy. Not hurting him at all. Laugh. Oh, gosh. 
Can't you feel it? Oh. God's sick. <gasps> yeah, man. Yeah, woo -woo. The glider, because you know the glider's there? No, oh, no, oh, it's gonna oh, hit her. Oh, no. <gasps> oh. <gasps> no. Crap, crap. Oh, no, no. Mm. Oh. oh. Are you okay? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Amazing. And with great power, there must also come great responsibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just into shock. Yeah. <gasps> oh, 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 no way. Oh, catch my breath. Okay, we we'll catch your breath. I'm right here. Oh, it's bad, isn't it? Oh, <gasps> yeah, she's bad. Yes, yeah, she is. No way. No, no way. no way. Oh no. You look at me, mate, please. Oh god, I have it's gonna show up right there. Oh my god, I have a shoot him. Oh jeez. You just have to leave it there. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it does. I just wish we could see him. <gasps> Did he do that? I just wish we could see Peter. Oh, he's good natural. Oh, no. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, <I'm sorry. laughs> oh. Yes! Oh, no. <laughs> I was happy for that. Multidimensional reality. It defeats the whole anonymous superhero thing. <laughs> he flexes. Why do you do that? No. Yes, crawl around. Why do I need to crawl around? Because it's not. Uh, that's enough. This is plenty. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, yeah, that's plenty. Oh. Get the cobweb there. <laughs> sure, like up there. <laughs> Convenience. <laughs> Maybe then he'll crawl. <laughs> oh, how cool! Oh, 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 hi. Yeah. Great. It's just some random guy. No, he's not. <laughs> oh, another one. Isn't he? Oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> She told me that with great power yeah. comes great responsibility. Yeah. We're all called yeah, Peter, we're all, we're Peter. All, Peter yeah. Parker. Same, Same again, we're all Peter Parker. Peter one, two, and three. <laughs> <The> computer. Oh. <laughs> so wait, are you gonna go into battle dressed as a cool youth pastor or you got your suit? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we heard it. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna <laughs> this is where we're gonna do this. Like, it's cool. isolated, so no one should get hurt. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> watching. Believe me, the world is watching. No back issues. You okay? Oh, my back. It's kind of. <laughs> I'm older than you. From all the swinging. <laughs> Does it come out of anywhere else? <laughs> only, only the wrist. You never had a web block. Because I run out of webs all the time. I have to make my own in right. a lab. You're amazing. Just to take it. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the amazing <laughs> Spider Man. That's right. Amazing. You uh, are that's his title. <laughs> yes. I was in the Avengers. The Avengers? Yeah. That's great. Thank you. What is that? What is that? Peter 3. Alright, let's do this. Right. <laughs> I love you guys. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, oh no, they don't have it. Oh, it's gone. Whoa. Yes. Oh, that's his theme. <gasps> okay, good. What are you doing? Ooh, there faster. You go. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey. Well, this is good now. <laughs> did you just open a portal? Oh, yes, with yes, your I did. Fancy ring. Hmm. I just thought she was gonna be black. Oh man, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> be a black Spider-Man somewhere. <gasps> Maybe we'll see Miles Morales. <laughs> this has to end now. Can the Spider-Man? Uh, oh, I was wondering when he was gonna be back. <gasps> There's a bomb oh, in there. No. Oh crap! Oh, so everything's God. blown out. Spidey three's getting oh, 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 I just want to kill you myself. Had a boy. Oh, he's gonna. Mm. Whoa, that was cool. Oh, <laughs> he's gonna use the glider. <gasps> yeah. 
there's tapping him. He's older. Okay. <laughs> Not Toby. Oh. See, he was right. You were right. Okay, he's a good villain. What have I done? Is that happening? Or am I dying? Oh yeah, no, that's happening. No, I'm gonna die. Are there people in the sky? <laughs> yeah, better go and say your goodbyes. You don't have long. Thank you, sir. You're in so much pain, huh? I am. Don't <laughs> <laughs> forget about that. It's okay. I'm gonna come and find you, and I'll explain everything. There's not something we can do. We can we can't come up with like a plan or something. You know, there's always something we can do. There's nothing we can do. I love you. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the first time she said that. <laughs> he always has such a sad story. <laughs> Echo. Deja vu? Oh. <laughs> He's gonna let her go, isn't he? <laughs> Oh, happy sir, too. It's so weird, and how is the connection? It's kind of like Tobey Maguire when he started out. Yeah. Wow. That was really that good. Was, that great. was great. Yeah, that was very good. I am so yeah, sad, yeah. though, but that was a very good yeah, movie. Yeah, he saved everybody. Yeah, they. Okay. There he is! Hey. 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 Good. Please. Hulk. Hulk. Yeah, you thought Nathan Protector was a shit name. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like no. that name. Oh. No! Oh, he left a piece of him behind. So that's oh, how they're going to restart Venom. God. Oh, man. Oh, yes. There is Venom. <laughs> yeah, that was quick. I'm glad he was in it, but I was yeah. hoping he'd have a bigger role. But there was a lot going on, though. Oh, well, I'll let it run just in case that there's another cut yes. scene, but so oh my God. I got to rant about that really quick because him flashing away at the end. Do you get what that means? Mm -mm. That no, he disappeared like he did in the cut scene where Venom said to Eddie Brock when they were sitting in bed oh, at the end, yes. he's like, oh, there's so much that you couldn't possibly understand or you can't comprehend it with your human brain oh, or something. Yeah. And he goes, I could show you a fraction of the universe. And he did something that he never did before and he flashed and then ended up in this universe and our universe, we'll say, with Tom Holland. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and so then that flash happened at the end of this cutscene, meaning that he disappeared. So now he's not in this anymore. Oh, no, he, you know, okay. I know the titles are different. Oh, like he was owned by Sony yeah. and he was associated with Marvel, but oh, um, anyways, Venom having part of himself in this universe now is going to reset the whole thing. So hopefully they'll still have, you know, Tom Hardy be Eddie Brock. That would be great. Yeah, that would be, be yeah, that would phenomenal. Be I would love that. Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. funny. I hope so. So they're probably yeah. just going to restart the whole story. But oh, we really wow. enjoyed the Venom movies. I know they were silly yeah, in some yeah, ways or a lot yeah. of ways, but <laughs> yeah. it helped you guys a lot too. Definitely, I know Mom yeah. was laughing a lot. Yeah. <laughs> we are drunk. <laughs> let's go skinny dipping. Yeah. Especially <laughs> Venom saying that. <laughs> I know the things oh, he said. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah. I mean. This was insanely good, and yeah, this is a good. great movie. Yes. I loved it. Me yeah, too. Like three Spider-Men coming together. I like yeah. the whole story of too. you know him trying to cure them, oh, and you know yeah. Norman oh. just had to be Norman. He just couldn't be Norman. He actually wanted to be the Green Goblin. He just That's did true. not. He want had no to control. Change. Yeah, no. Well, it wasn't even him controlling yeah, the Green Goblin. Green Goblin had took more control. control yeah, yeah. and he would be dormant sometimes, but just like the original movie, which has been a while since yeah, we've yeah. seen it. But I've you know I loved <laughs> the Tobey Maguire again because that's yeah. what I, you know, grew up knowing. Yeah. But um, you know he 
was a good guy. Like he was really absorbed in his work and everything. And he didn't have the greatest relationship with his son, Harry. Harry Mm -hmm. always looked up to his father and always wanted to try his hardest to connect with him and to, you know, kind of be respected by him. And he did love his son. But anyways, he took that serum. He tried to push the project he was working on. And the serum took him over, and the Green Goblin was a stronger entity, I guess, inside yeah. of him, a stronger oh, personality. Oh, so no matter what, I think he, I mean, all the villains here I love. And, I mean, besides yeah. Connor, like, he was a good villain, too, and I'm glad he was kind of more in the background. Yeah. Because yeah. I know Doc Ock and them making fun of his Doc name, and this yes. one was perfect. I know, like, yes. in comic book days, even now, <laughs> like, they make names that are so literal to the character, yeah. but... You know, I really enjoyed his character with the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, um, and even in this one. But the Green Goblin, like, he was always so scary, and William Defoe plays such a great Green he's Goblin, so where he's just yeah, insane. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah, the laugh, the yeah, voice he change, he's so manic and devious. And he was great when he was down by himself, you know, with May. Mm-hmm. at the soup kitchen he was just like you know even down and out that kind of i mean he just yeah. he can do it all yeah, well because sure that's norman because yeah. norman that's sometimes his would take self. over that's yes but i mean self. he's just so convincing no matter what yeah does, you know and it was so good because you could tell he was lost like yeah. even mm-hmm. may caught on right away like yeah, i know he's yeah. like more than just lost like yeah. he's way beyond yeah. and he's stealing donuts like there's always <laughs> quick things going on like <laughs> nothing's <laughs> left to waste <laughs> it's like let's have norman doing something crazy in the background he's so great so he's gonna steal from his shelter you know so I think um yeah so that was pretty funny but yeah to see him go through all those changes like the conflict he had within himself and even looking at the helmet and smashing that in the beginning and being like oh my god you know and you know he's always struggling with the goblin side of himself and yeah he was terrifying and um, and then um, Electro, I really enjoy him. Jamie Foxx is amazing. Oh, I loved it. Yes. I loved when they, yes. they, <laughs> I love when they put him in all those containers, those, oh my those gosh, rooms, yeah. and he's just like, come on, I love this place, you know? Yeah. He just, he, he didn't want to leave Earth, mm-hmm. this yeah. Earth. And the quick oh details they would give us, which we know their powers, but yeah. then he would constantly remind us, like, ooh, yeah, there's something going on here. Ooh, I like this. And you see the flash in his right. eyes. Right. When they went into Happy's yeah. um, um, condo, and he knew there was the fabricator, he knew there was some kind of large energy source there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he was quite powerful, and we knew yeah. that, but, you know, seeing all these villains come together, I know a lot of people are watching going, hey, who's more powerful? Who's the worst villain? And, yeah. you know, having that challenge, and I'm like, wow, Electro's really high up there, I'm too. I'm Electro sure is. is. Yeah, I him, yeah, I think, and then um, definitely power-wise, and then Green Goblin, he's also oh, super yeah. strong, but he's just, like, good at manipulating people, yeah. and he's sick, you know? Yeah. Like, he knows how to really get to you emotionally and he just works with that to make even Tom Holland Spider-Man really lose it that really made me feel like the old movies right right. you know because Andrew and Toby went through that and I think there might be another cut scene I don't know but Marvel usually has many so we'll just wait until the end here just to see (laughs) yeah another cut scene never know too dangerous stability of space time it was the only way. This is like a trailer. Yeah. Wanda. Yeah, it's Wanda. Wanda, it's Wanda. <laughs> well, oh, more than you. Whoa. <gasps> yes, it's Doctor Strange. It's um, Dark Doctor Strange. Yeah. Just like what if? Oh, I don't know if it's the same one, but. Oh what? goodness! The return. The return. <laughs> yeah. Dark Doctor Strange. Strange. Oh, that was oh, awesome. Wow. wow. So, that's going to be that's gonna pretty be, crazy. Gonna be dark. Yeah, I'm excited to see that one. That was cool. So it was a trailer at the end. That was yeah. perfect wow. because I thought it was going to be like just a cutscene for this. But technically it is, oh, I guess. Nice. I don't know yeah. if it's for this version because we bought it on Amazon. And let me scroll up to see. This was called Spider-Man No Way Home Bonus X-Ray Edition. Oh, so okay. if you guys want to follow along with us. You know, the full version. Um, This was great. I, um, you know, uh, because I cut myself off before the trailer that I was saying that Tom Holland's Spider-Man, when he went through that darkness, very similar 
that the other Spider-Mans went through, losing Uncle Ben, losing Gwen Stacy. I mean, those were extremely tragic um, and their fault, you know, uh, to a certain extent, because there's a lot of ways you could try to look at that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Peter Parker was always selfish, not selfish, he was always selfless. Yes, that's right. But he sometimes being human, you can get selfish about certain things or get tunnel vision and he's trying to do the right thing. And just like in this scenario, he tried to do the right thing. He wanted to save these people, these villains, Mm -hmm. because he didn't see them as just evil people. He saw them losing their way. Bad things happened to them and they were misguided. A second chance. Yeah. And he wanted to give them a second chance. And I love that notion. Like that's so heroic and self, lists of him but look what happened to aunt may because of it and whoever else and all this destruction who got hurt or killed during it you know Mm -hmm. like that's such a huge loss that you know he has many people close to him but that's his family like that's his bloodline that he was so close to aunt may like a mom um you know he lived with her he loved her and what she was so supportive of him yeah all the the villains to yeah, I mean, she was very really supportive. Yeah, she, I mean, yeah. oh I know it, through. you see beyond that with Tom Holland because, well, his character is 17. So you see him as a child, depending on how old you are watching this movie. Yeah, yeah. And for his aunt to really um, trust him. And he's been through a lot already with the Avengers yeah, on his sure. own. And, you know, they had a lot of talking or talk throughs. And he even said he doesn't want to go through all that again with her when he didn't want her to forget during the initial spell. Um, but to lose her was such a tragic, oh, shocking yes, part of was. this movie. Oh, I yeah. hated it. That's the point. Oh, wow. um, gut wrenching, just terrible. Because sure she, was. I wanted her to be just in this all the way through mm. with Tom Holland because she's an awesome Aunt May. But yeah, I'm sure she was. Yeah. that's what happens. Like, Spider Man has a very tragic life, you know? He always it loses is. loved and ones all the time. It's really sad for this Spider Man because now no one remembers him either. That's right. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so that that's holy crap. More, another I mean, shot at the he, end. What's he going to do? You know, didn't recognize him, of course. And then right. Ned didn't either. And it's terrible because no one, his close friends, his girlfriend, yeah, yeah. Um, and even Doctor Strange was saying yeah. love. Like, they all like fought and saved the world world the universe together and they do have a connection even though they weren't really close i mean i know dr strange got closer to spider-man in this movie in a way but yeah it hurt was, him yeah. too like, it did really bad hurt this him. was yeah, yeah. and he he kept remembering oh he's just a kid he's just yeah. a kid you know and the eye roll but he was like lovingly you know, yeah, mad at him. You know, yeah. he was. He really did care about him. Yeah, I know. I, I, yeah, and, I agree. Yeah, he looked but happy too at the end. He didn't that was hard to see as well. And how bizarre, yeah. and I'm sure a lot of people are discussing this. Again, leave your comments below. I want to know what you guys thought of this yeah. movie. And uh, please, no spoilers for anything that comes out after this, which I'm pretty sure we're caught up, right, at this point. Um, yeah, because so, Madness right? isn't out yet, and there's all these other movies coming out soon that we're going to watch on the channel, blind most likely. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, like, he... It's insane to think that, like, no one knows Peter Parker, yet all these events still took place. I kind of had in the back of my head that maybe time would reverse a little bit. He does not have the time stone. It's all about just doing the forget spell, Mm -hmm. uh, forget me spell. Um, So I kind of had a thought, like, well, maybe May will be okay, but no, because all these events still happened, and how do you fill in the blanks where Peter Parker was erased? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it all happened, but what do people think? Maybe it's just a foggy memory or they just can't place it like whoever had interactions with peter parker yeah, they'll be just be true. like well like mj like oh well right Ned was there the whole time or something ned, you know what I mean? ned didn't yeah. even look up he was so no, focused on his yeah. device and yeah. just you know sure. having a bite to eat and just waiting for mj to come back so he wasn't even focused on like peripheral stuff yeah. but mj kind of looked at him like like yeah at the end that, there. yeah, yeah. And that, <laughs> like do I, you know, something, there's something, something familiar there. about this person. I know, and I'm hoping that there's an echo or something there. But I am but you curious. Know what? Thank God she's, she survived. Oh, I she mean, that was, that was close. Andrew, 
and she was <laughs> oh, sure. Spider Man saved her, and that was so. Oh beautiful. my god, that was a beautiful scene. I, I loved that. Yeah, I, I think yeah, I started crying again so then because so I was like, my eyes watered. Yeah, he just yeah, and yeah, Andrew Garfield again. I love all three Spider Mans. Yeah, they too. are so good. And I want to say in their own way, but I'm not trying to say it in a negative way, because they're all so good in their roles, right? And they all give a special piece of Spider-Man, you know, yes. to make them a whole. I feel like all three of them almost combine to have a superpower in Spider-Man, because, like, all their traits are just so perfect together. And, I mean, we can't get too spoiled, right? But I know this was good as a standalone, get the three Spider-Mans together, kind of paying homage to that, respect to that, to show yeah. like, oh, they all did exist. And this isn't completely erasing that they didn't exist. You know, they kind right. of yeah. made it in their own way. It worked. And um, it would be so cool to see them in additional movies because even like yeah. Andrew was like, oh, it's like having brothers. I always wanted brothers. Oh, I know. And I felt bad when he said, I love, 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 love you to them. And then oh, yeah, that's when you respond back. I know. I know. Yeah. We meant it now, but I have Oh, like you gotta say that to him. Yeah. And this is Tom Holland's movie, so he yeah. was Spider Man 1, right. but I wish they did just randomly say Tobey Maguire 1, Andrew 2, and then um, Tom as 3, because that's the order <laughs> yes. that they that's premiered, exactly. you know? Right. Um, but, anyways, yeah. yeah, so it's Tom's movie, so he was 1. But Andrew, because he was just such a sweetheart that I'm like, he can't be 3, 2's the best. But Tobey <laughs> was always my favorite, too, which randomly yeah, yeah. I'm just spewing out information here but um toby he looks really good they might have done yes. some imaging or like special okay, effects yeah. to his face or something to make him look younger because those movies came out a long time ago right. and for him to fit yes. back in that suit i give him credit that was so that. funny when his back was hurting him oh, <laughs> i know just a kind of joke that i mean they do a lot of acrobatic stuff and it's just um really hard on your a back but he's body when you're doing that after right. how many decades yeah, yeah i know exactly it's he's a lot oh, older than everyone else yeah. So yeah. that was just so much yeah. fun. Yeah, and I thought um, that, actually, no, let me rewind because I'm going on a tangent because there's just so many things to talk about. But um, when Tom really, I'm just saying there are actual names now, yeah, right? like one, Spider Man one. Yeah, when he um, was so consumed by darkness and was fighting the Green Goblin. And I love that scene because you just feel it. Like, my God, I felt sick. And you see Tom, and he's just full of hate. He can't mm -hmm. see anything else. And Spider-Man's the hero. He's not about killing people. Right. And here, yeah. this whole time, he wanted to save these villains. Like, look how far he went to risk other things, which, again, it kind of makes you go, yeah, well, you're risking other lives, too, trying to save these villains that have killed many people in the past. Mm -hmm. And you trying to save yes. them might kill other people along the way. So, really, what's the balance? Or is it really worth mm -hmm. doing? Mm -hmm. You know, um, he was so consumed after even all of those those risks trying to save these people um he was willing to kill green goblin because he got into his head he killed aunt may mm -hmm. the closest person yeah, to right. him mm -hmm. um and uh yeah so to see him go through that totally threw in reminded me of toby and andrew's movies and how they lost it too like yeah. they're human right you know yeah. darkness took over they tried to do the right thing it was their fault this happened to a certain yeah. extent and mm -hmm. um you know, and in, in this case, it was unfortunately yeah. Peter's, well, Tom's fault uh, because he wanted to save these guys. And oh, if yeah, they just yeah. let Doctor Strange push the button, they would have had their own inevitable, inevitable like death. But, um, you know, Aunt May would be alive. And, right. Yeah. And um, yeah. I thought it was so fitting for Toby's Spider Man to come and break him from yeah. that that dark place where he was going. That's right, yeah. Unfortunately, he was stabbed, but mm -hmm. I'm glad that it was Toby's Spider-Man yeah, that yeah, stabbed him. Like, he was the man, you know, right. he was like the older self saying, right. you know, he can't. Yeah. And especially for this particular villain because that was Toby's villain. Yeah, yeah and he... Uh, um, actually killed a man or like he kind of killed him like he confronted him he attacked him and then he fell out the window and died so i don't he don't know if he pushed him i can't remember if he pushed him or not but still like he led to his death and he mm -hmm. totally didn't even care he didn't have any remorse he just looked over his body and walked away um that was the original idea of his death right like the, mm -hmm. the that he assumed mm -hmm. killed um, uncle ben but, um, yeah, so that was very fitting that he stopped and just a look he had giving Tom being like, it's not, you know, you right. can't go down this yeah, yeah. path. It's just, it's right. not going to make it better. But I'm so happy that Toby 
freaking survived because I thought, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, it's going too long. And Green Goblin's a My sick head. bastard yeah. just laying there. And yeah, yeah. I'm like, he's super strong. He's going to come up quick because you punched him a few times. It was a good fight. But I'm like, he's a super strong, crazy guy. And he's just like, hey, I'm just yeah. in the background. And, and you're holding up this glider. Like, you can't even, like, react and do anything. He's behind him. Yeah, so he gets stabbed. Except but yeah, he survived. survived. Yeah, like, yeah. He, he did. didn't die later because yeah. Aunt May, yeah. she got back up. And we were relieved, right? Because we thought she was okay. She got hit hard but she's all right yeah that was terrible it was but she was so yeah. brave that she just got up and she didn't even realize that you know, that made it she worse had a fatal blow yeah, yes. i mean that was good uh, because then she was able to talk to tom right. as well right. yeah. but um before we get into that i just want to say that i'm just glad toby survived and then that joke that andrew said saying that oh you're in a lot of pain aren't you yes yeah. i loved it yeah. <laughs> it's like i know you try to act cool i would be totally on guys yeah, too okay. yeah <laughs> Funny. Um, I, so I loved when they were talking up on the yeah. um, on the scaffolding, and they were just talking about like their different powers, like oh, how the, right, yes. the webby, like how the webby comes out. Of, yeah. <laughs> is that the only place it comes out of? Oh, yeah. it, just, it was so like dirty was too. Great. It was so funny. But Andrew was just like he was genuinely like he was excited about. it. He's like, I really want to know about this. You mm-hmm. know, talk to me about this. You know? I love how and they, they still kept funny. that. Yeah. The same yeah, too. Yeah, it was adorable. Yeah, because the comics he always had the contraption or whatever the web shooters that he made in a lab. Oh, right. But the Tobey Maguire movie, I think um, they did that because they didn't want to branch off the main story because they already had a lot going on. So they just made it inside him, you know, mm-hmm. so that way they didn't have to go and tell that story and how he made it or whatever mm-hmm. or integrate that somehow. So I like that idea too. Mm-hmm. Um, but then. Andrew and Tom Spider Man's more true to the comics because he's always had the web shooters that he yeah, made. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I just love that, you know, them talking about like, wow, yeah, like same. anything is possible, you know? That's but right. how convenient is that where he doesn't have to make his own webs? Does he actually run out? Who yeah, he, right. he actually yeah. just felt so good about himself. He's like, wow, you guys don't do that? Yeah. yeah. Although he did have <laughs> web block because in the third movie he was all messed up and he lost his powers for a while, right? Yeah, so. but he was like <laughs> feeling like he's a little superior that. He didn't I know it's like wow. make his stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then learning like the way they were revealed was great and oh, so many yeah, things that's were, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The and then with portals. Ned with the yeah. magic at the same time yeah, like yeah. wow that's so crazy he, could, he can't do magic when he was joking not joking but you know ranting to Doctor Strange in the beginning saying like hey my family my was grandma said that I have um you know superpowers in the family or uh, yeah, magic in the family and I have tingles in my fingers and that actually did become a thing so he does have that and maybe he'll be um, helping Dr. Strange. So anyways, like, oh my God, like he can do magic. And then you have That's Andrew right. Garfield. And, right. and that was so yeah, cute. Prove it. Prove it. Is He's this like, enough? Sure, this more is than enough? This. Yeah, just no. to, again, banter, yeah. great banter. And the grandmother had him go and get a cobweb. Uh, How yeah. hilarious. Like all the crap going on right, right now. Right. <laughs> But it proved that he was Fireman. Yeah, and then crawling over it. It was still a lot of fun. That was a great scene. And yeah, so the reveal there was good. Um, It's a long movie. So uh, they, like, the Spider Mans were in it for a while. But before that happened, I started to doubt. I started thinking, crap, maybe the other Spider Mans will not be in here. Maybe it's just about saving the villains. Yeah, and then um, so, when they did finally no come, I said, oh, maybe the villains are going to even get worse because they're going to see their true Spider-Mans oh, that they're yeah. used to. But uh, no, that wasn't a thing. They all got together and and yeah. cured them all. Yeah, I think oh, pretty much everyone yeah. except... Oh, even Connor. Yep, they cured Connor too because um, Andrew did that before. Yeah. And again, we're and saying the actual names, yeah. so yeah. one, yeah. two, and three. Yeah. But um, So that was great that he did that. And, you know, Sandman... He has, uh, I want to say, compelling story. Like, I like how he wants to see his daughter and yeah, stuff. He had a sad past, on. too. But he was probably my least favorite mm-hmm. villain. Um, but I am glad they had him in this, too, because I know everyone's going to have, like, a least favorite, um, a favorite villain. And, yeah, yeah. And I mean, have he, was, them all together. he was very funny, too, when they went into Happy's apartment. That, that was, was freaking hilarious, trying to brush off his sorry. own dirt. And it just gets <laughs> worse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and funny moments. I don't know... Um, if a lot of people like Doc Ock, 
But in the movies, I really did like him. Well, in the second movie, mm-hmm. right? I really enjoyed his character. I know it's bizarre to have those weird mechanical tentacle things, but yes. um, those arms. Yes. But he was a great doctor. He was compassionate. He mm-hmm. was um, in love, very in love with his wife still. And he guided Peter, you know, because he was a brilliant mind. Peter was a brilliant mm-hmm. mind. He wanted to help guide him. And then he had a bad experiment that went wrong. And then the tentacle things, uh, the mechanical arms, you know, like something, you know, the way they were connected to his, like, spine or whatever, you know, got all corrupt and, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, completely yeah. took over his brain. So then he became evil. Um, yeah. But, yeah, so I'm glad they were able to turn him around. And he was I am, like too. I mean, end. Norman was very impressed with Peter's right. um, expertise on that. When he was Norman, yeah. yeah. And that made yeah. me feel he bad was like, Ooh, you can work for me, you know, oh, if you want to yeah. travel, if you, have, if you don't mind traveling. that traveling. was funny, too, yeah. <laughs> and that also made Harry sad because he wanted to get close yeah. to his father, but he had a closer relationship with Peter than Harry, you mm-hmm. know. So that kind of yeah. made me think of that, too. Um, but, yeah, like, it's almost like these characters are fated to you know, interact or meet up in some way. and Yeah, and oh um, even with Happy having that tech that he wasn't supposed to have <laughs> in his condo. That's right. I mean, because Matt said, you need a lawyer, right? And yeah. I think <gasps> we saw Matt. That was a great surprise, <laughs> too. Yeah. Like, of all things, like, we were on lawyer. MCU yeah. only, wow. and oh we were God, excited. If you didn't <laughs> see Hawkeye, skip the next 20 seconds of this review. But... When we saw Hawkeye, like that was such a great yes. surprise with the build up of this. And we're like, Kingpin, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. So yes. even seeing that, I really didn't think they were gonna bring any other characters from the okay. Netflix that Marvel. Was that was phenomenal. And when he was that. down there talking to them and then that brick went right through and he just grabbed That, that was awesome. That was like just like, enough. And I was like, That's perfect. Yeah. You need to keep this <laughs> How did you do that? Wow, that was good. I am so happy they brought him into this. Yeah, so yeah. he's like, Oh, I'm just a good attorney. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. We still have to see, I think, the third season of Daredevil. And, you know, we, we pause that for now just because we need to grow more to in order to take on more. But we already are doing a lot. And we love what we watch and all that. But, yeah, so we really enjoyed those. And we're now watching, like, all the new Marvel shows that are coming out on Disney+. Plus. Um, but we would love to continue and finish because I think we have one season left for all the other shows. Besides oh, Luke Cage, yeah, we did finish yeah. that so. one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we're staying in um, order, chronological order, okay. um, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, release order, um, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like making sure because I know Star Wars, you're in chronological. Wait a second. But, um, but yeah, so we really try to do what yes. you guys tell us to do. And uh, we do really enjoy those. So we'll see if we ever go back to Daredevil. Okay. I'm hoping sometime in the near future. But that was a wonderful surprise. Wasn't that great? Yeah, it's really good. And we have to talk about Aunt May going to something fun and now something really sad uh, because I kind of swung us back to Tom fighting um, Norman. I know it. And and May was phenomenal. She grabbed in the the moment of the the most heated moment in that condo. She grabbed all the tech. She put it yeah, in that she bag. Did. Yeah, know, she was she amazing. Ran out down the stairs. I mean, she did all she could. Good for she her. even she stabbed him with a cure that wasn't yep. working, she but she really she tried. Did. She, did. she was so brave, and she yeah, always nice. supported her nephew. I mean, like heck, he was living with her. It was like her own mm-hmm. son. Yeah, sure. sure, definitely. And the way she died was so tragic oh. and it was so well executed. Oh, that sounds bad. I shouldn't use that word. That sounds awful. But when she was hit, I thought she was stabbed at first because that was like how Norman killed himself and he tried to kill Spider-Man by talking to him. The glider came up behind him. Yes. And Spider-Man jumped out of the way and it impaled uh, Norman instead. So, um, uh, anyways, either way, the glider killed her. So I was like, holy yeah, crap, you know, and mm-hmm. for her to get back up, yeah. we were relieved and it just played with our emotions and she was acting off the whole time, like desperate. And yeah. then when she started telling Peter with, um, great power comes great responsibility, you know, um, it's like she's trying to get out everything. You did the right thing. And then I'm saying telling. that quote, and that's yes. such a famous quote that we yeah. haven't heard yet. Right. We've heard it in jokes or something before but to say it all like that to Mm -hmm. him it's like she knew that something was wrong but then she was in shock too so right she's slowly learning catch my breath catch my breath yeah and us slowly learning that she wasn't doing well was a very sad realization 
Oh, yeah, that was a very mm-hmm. good scene and very, it very was. sad. And Peter goes through things like that, just like with Uncle Ben. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And oh, he, he really That's couldn't right. mourn her death at that moment. He had to take Get off. shot. That's right. Yeah. Right. yeah. I mean, yeah. caps were right there. I think I had, like, Happy was okay because I thought he was going to. Yeah, yeah happy. He got yeah, arrested, right? Yeah, he did. He did well, with all yeah. the lasers on him, and I'm like, oh god, oh god, yeah, please, so not too. I mean, maybe wow. just to contain him because they don't know what's going on. He just pulls right into this crazy That's scene. Right. Yeah, but yeah. Um, I think he got arrested. Oh. Him. Yeah, that was very but, sad. Man. Yeah, nice. Aunt May, I loved all the Aunt Mays. Um, they were all like always so sweet, and I always, I, I'm sure everyone yeah, always feared for her because she was like the mom of. Yeah. Yeah. All universes, yeah, and yes, for sure. like you can't harm her. But Uncle Ben, they might have mentioned him in the Tom Holland Spider Mans, but I don't really recall ever hearing about him. So yeah. he didn't go through all of that with his aunt, and um, maybe this Aunt May never met Ben. Maybe in this universe, right. maybe he's still alive somewhere. Because okay. we just assume, yeah. I just assume there was an Uncle Ben that passed away a while ago and nothing was said about it. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe because, maybe. Um, yeah, this this Aunt May just broke up with Happy, so. That was I know, she's been, <laughs> I mean, you know, it could yeah, be time she was, after. And Iron Man was kind of like flirting with her before, mm-hmm. too. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, so she yeah. might have just been single, you Yeah, know? just That's a different... Right. I don't know, we probably saw pictures, yeah, but now I'm going to look back, because it has been a while. We love Marvel, but okay. everything is stretched out. We've been watching Marvel That's for right. many years, yeah. so it's been, like, sometimes years between movies, yeah. and I'm like, oh, really? But I'm sure you guys will let us know, too, yeah. so thank you. Yeah, yeah, but, wow. you know, she was buried by herself. You saw the stone by herself, so That's if right, he yeah. passed away before her, you'd think she'd be, you right know, next with him, you know, on the same stone, she'd have her name on it, but... Yeah, yeah. You so know, this no. was his... Um, Uncle Ben, kind of, you know. Yeah. That's so sad. It was, yeah. What a wonderful movie. It was very good. So was it very different from what you guys thought? What do you think? Yeah, I think it was very different. I didn't think that they were all going to get together like that for the cause, you know. And work together. Yeah, Yeah, I didn't think that even the villains were going to be, you know, okay, yeah, cure us and then bring us home. And um, I thought that that was just such a funny concept to have them all together and That's right. going mm-hmm. up to Happy's condo and, okay, he's going to fix this all and then we're going to go right. home, you know? Yeah. I thought that was a riot. Yeah. I, was, I just yeah, loved yeah. that. That was fun, And then too. it was phenomenal when they actually turned on him and then our, you know, all three Spider-Mans came together. That, mm-hmm. was, right. that was very good. It was just like, yes. All right. That was great. Yeah. And that was a lot later than I thought, but yeah. it still happened, which was great. But yeah, I thought right from the start, the spell was going to go bad from what we saw in the trailer. The bad guys were going to start taking over, and then the other Spider Mans were going to come That's in. That's what the I beginning thought. I thought it was going to be just complete chaos. Fight. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So I thought it was just going to be chaos, and I know they were going to have a good plot, but I just saw them all fighting these bad guys from the start. But the fact that um, Spider Man wanted to save everybody, and I I think we had that confused because it's been a while since we saw the trailer when it first came out but dr strange was saying something about or peter was saying something about like protecting or saving them and we thought we got it confused and i think we were talking about the um um the spider men like oh are they gonna die or is it uh the villains like we weren't really sure but he was talking about the villains so anyways um you know having that concept of trying to save them all the way through and them actually kind of teaming up with Peter Parker for a little yeah. bit yeah. to see if they could be helped was right. kind of fun. And the, yeah, the one good. person, the one person that actually did was Doc Ock. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. Through and through. Good. He was, because he was already <laughs> set, reset, you know. Yeah. Back to so, his yes. normal self. That's mm-hmm. right. Yeah, everyone was cured. Even Sandman, everyone. So that was, yeah. uh, that was really good. And even Norman yeah. saying, what have I done at the end? I know, yeah. I know. He regretted it. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm curious to see if there's going to be another one because just for Spider-Man, because I just hate seeing this Spider-Man like this oh, yeah. now. The like he's got to start. Him and like no one. No, no one. No one. He doesn't have Aunt May. Him. He's starting from a, right from the start. You know, I when he went into that apartment, that. they op- he opened up a box. It looks like he was, you know going to do his GED mm-hmm. exam like and he's just starting fresh and he's and he just made a new Spider-Man outfit too yeah right. he actually made so, it by yeah. hand again like yeah. 
it's really old school. I mean, when he yeah. first started out in the MCU, I mean, he had one that was not nearly as good as this one, but he's learned a lot. And it really, like, makes me think of the other Spider-Man movies because uh, Spider-Man always was, or Peter Parker was always really poor and he struggled a lot and had a crummy apartment. I mean, it was spacey, yeah. at least there, but, um, you know, it was run down. Yeah. And it's so sad because yeah. he walked away from his friends because... I don't think he was thinking, I'll just see them another time and, you know, try to talk to him then. Like, now's not the time. I think he just walked away because he doesn't want them in danger. Because uh, oh, yeah, Peter yeah. Parker was always about that. He never wanted to put his friends in danger. And, you know, he, he always loved MJ or Gwen Stacy. But look what happened to Gwen, you know. And then even MJ was always in trouble, too. Well, you know, yeah. you make a, a valid point where maybe he did walk away you know, having a second thought that if I do this again, you know, some other, some other, you know, threat is going to come and going to harm the people that I do love. Mm -hmm. And if I remind them, you know, if I remind them who I am, Mm -hmm. it's going to happen at some point. This is who I am. And maybe I am going to just start fresh, but yeah. So I'm curious because this is like a extreme reset for Spider-Man and, major struggles he's going to go through because now he's like handling all this pain himself like it was great that he had his friends before and his like spider friends that went through the same thing to help him cope a little bit Mm -hmm. or a lot because he really went to a dark place like they did but he was able to i mean he'll never be able to let that go but he was able to come back from it faster with their help Mm -hmm. but now being completely alone not being able to talk to anyone right not even dr strange like you can't even go back you're right even the avengers like no one's gonna know him they're gonna know spider-man though right they might still know spider-man so maybe all hope is not lost yeah they'll know spider-man you know because even jonah said oh why don't you take off everyone knows spider-man that's right Yeah. yeah So maybe there's still hope there, but the fact that, you know, so the Avengers are probably going to be the closest to him because they already have a relationship with Mm Spider-Man. So as long as that hasn't changed, where not knowing Peter Parker changed the personality of how they remember Spider-Man for some odd reason, um, I think he will actually... Um, have to connect with the Avengers first and be like, hey, I'm Peter Parker. Oh, you don't remember me? Because I think Doctor Strange will be open-minded over time to be like, mm-hmm. oh, crap, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, you know the spell. Oh, you did do that. Oh. Mm-hmm. You know? Not that yeah. you can fix it, but maybe. I'm hoping there's an echo out there where they'll be familiar and even MJ will be like, huh. And she even said, I'll figure it out again. So she might. She might. Mm-hmm. That's right. She's and a then, brilliant girl. Mm -hmm. So at least they're close or they're going to be close. I had a moment because, again, they didn't reverse time or anything. It was in that moment they just forgot Peter Parker. So at a moment I was like, oh, my God, are they in a relationship now? Like, how crazy would that be that Ned and MJ? But I'm glad that wasn't a thing. It was just fresh, erased memory of Peter Parker. Yeah, so let us know what you thought of this movie. Very well done. Very good. I loved it. I loved it. I loved the story. It was great. (laughs) Me too. Very well done. And special Mm -hmm. effects are always a lot of fun. And yeah, so the next uh, Marvel movie, I believe, is uh, Doctor Strange. Okay. (laughs) Woohoo! That was a good trailer. (laughs) So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you want to see our full reaction to this, you can check it out in the links below on our Patreon. Um, This had a lot of amazing scenes and we can only show 10 minutes on YouTube legally so there's a lot that's going to be missed but we really try our best to keep in the best scenes Um, you watching on our Patreon really helps support us we love you guys please give the video a thumbs up that helps us grow (laughs) and we'll see you very soon as always Bye, bye guys